Welcome back to the CryptoBot channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and let's get straight into the Ethereum charts. This right here is the 12 hour Ethereum chart, and the parabolic stop reverse indicator is still sitting in the green, which is technically a bullish signal. But keep in mind, as I've been saying for the past two days, we actually have a bearish divergence here on the 12 hour Ethereum chart because we're seeing higher highs in the price action, but lower highs in the RSI. And this bearish divergence is basically a signal to us that this bullish trend is starting to lose some of that bullish momentum because the most common outcomes from a bearish divergence is either a sideways consolidation or a slight pullback in the price of Ethereum. So basically a continued short-term call-off, just a pause in this uptrend. And yes, technically speaking, we are still in this uptrend on the 12-hour chart because we're still forming higher highs and higher lows at the time of recording this video. The trend has not broken, at least just yet. And looking in the 12-hour Ethereum MACD, it's pretty much going almost exactly sideways, showing a lack in momentum, which is why over the past few days, we haven't really been overly bullish or overly bearish. We've mostly just been trending sideways as expected. But other than this bearish divergence, there is another bearish signal that is happening at the moment, which is the price of Ethereum getting a small rejection from the golden pocket, which is the most important Fibonacci level, sitting at around three and a half thousand, going up towards around 3.6k. And that same bearish divergence that I just talked about is also visible here on the daily time frame as well. So because of these signals that I've mentioned so far in this video, the possibility of Ethereum playing out a bit of a short-term pullback is starting to increase which is definitely a risk that we should at least be aware of because at the moment, like I said, we do have a few short-term bearish signals on the chart. But if you're looking at the three-day Ethereum charts, we're still seeing a massive bullish reversal in the RSI and the MACD. But while we're seeing that play out, looking in the three-day Ethereum RSI, we are still running into this major point of resistance. And at the time of recording this video, the three-day Ethereum RSI has not confirmed a breakout or a rejection just yet because the next three daily candle close is still in another two days and six hours from now. And obviously it is important that the Ethereum three-day RSI breaks above this point of resistance, because if you're looking at the last few times the RSI has gotten a rejection from this resistance line, this has resulted in more bearish price action for Ethereum on the larger time frame. So keep that in mind. And if you zoom out to the weekly Ethereum chart, looking in the weekly Ethereum MACD, we are currently seeing a bullish cross, but this has not been confirmed, unlike the Bitcoin bullish cross. Because with Bitcoin's weekly MACD bullish cross, we actually saw that bullish cross form last week and then confirmed it at the end of last week with the weekly candle close. But in the case of Ethereum, we did not form the bullish cross last week and instead we're forming it this week, which means we still need to see a weekly candle close in order to confirm this bullish cross to cement it in place. And the next weekly candle close is in a little over six days from now. And just giving you a quick update on the Bitcoin dominance chart, this is the daily time frame. And today the Bitcoin dominance is playing out a bounce from that level of support that I've been mentioning over the past couple days. Now, of course, we still need to see this daily candle close in order to confirm the daily candle as a green daily candle, basically a bounce from that level of support. And the next daily candle close is in under six hours from now. And so basically, if the Bitcoin dominance closes today's candle as a green candle, then that would confirm a bounce from this level of support, which would be bearish for the altcoins, at least compared to Bitcoin. And a continued bounce to the upside would possibly put an end to the altcoin season that we've been seeing over the past few weeks. So this is also important to pay attention to moving forward because this bounce in the Bitcoin Bitcoin dominance could also be a bearish signal for Ethereum against Bitcoin. And speaking of Ethereum versus Bitcoin, this is Ethereum valued against Bitcoin on the daily time frame. And if you're looking in the daily RSI, we are currently sitting in overbought territories. And if you simply take a look at the other times the daily RSI has entered into overbought territories for Ethereum versus Bitcoin, that has basically resulted in a pullback for Ethereum versus Bitcoin. And for any of the beginners out there, when Ethereum pulls back on this chart, that just basically means Ethereum is underperforming against against Bitcoin. And obviously, if you've been following me on this channel and on my Twitter in recent weeks, you would know that I have been loading up on more Ethereum than Bitcoin because Ethereum has obviously been outperforming Bitcoin. But right now, I'm just letting you know that we do have a couple bearish signals forming for Ethereum. But for some of these signals, we still need to see some more confirmation. And of course, the overall trend for Ethereum at the moment is still a bullish trend on the daily charts. But as I always say, even in bullish trends, we still see some bearish price action from time to time, just like how in a bearish trend, we see some bullish price action from time to time. But anyway, if you found this video useful or simply enjoyed this, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, you might as well subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. And before you click off, if you want to make more money in crypto, whether or not prices are going up, down or sideways, then these two videos popping up right here on your screen are definitely for you to watch. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.